Good afternoon. So this is Shaw Walters. Uh, I'm Todd Eckert. Uh, Shaw is uh, kind of bringing up uh, a clip of a piece that we have been creating uh, and actually premiered two months ago at BAFTA here. We're a company based in the United States, and we're working exclusively in, in mixed reality. Now, this is something I, I actually come out of traditional film and uh, have even produced video games. Uh, and it was, it was never my intention to get into something so technologically risky or uncertain. Uh, and in fact, I was producing a film and met Ronnie Abovitz from, from Magic Leap. And that, that sort of changed everything. It's like, what is the relationship between content and audience, the artist and intimacy? What is that actually supposed to be? And so we created, this is, this is starting in 2012, kind of a template by which mixed reality was, was really supposed to move forward. And when we were originally talking to Yana and, and Wired about what this could be, we thought, OK, God, look, another guy who's up talking about the way he's going to change the world or whatever, why don't we actually show you practically what it is that we've been doing? So the, the, the first thing that we're going to show you is about a minute and a half of a clip. Now, this, this clip is from our piece Tartuffe. Uh, Tartuffe is what we premiered at BAFTA in September. Uh, there are all sorts of reasons that we chose BAFTA as opposed to Los Angeles, Silicon Valley. We can talk about that after the, the discussion. Uh, but what you see here is Alicia Naples, who is our, uh, our other founder. And we want to show you what volumetric capture actually means. So volumetric capture, it's not animation. It's not, uh, it's, it's not the, the flat photography or even stereoscopic photography that we're used to. This is actual photography of a moving person. And this is the cornerstone of absolutely everything that we're doing. They are real stories put into real worlds. So what is the real world? Well, this is a building in Pittsburgh where we're based. And, uh, and so it, it's actually based on photography, even though it kind of looks like a game asset. But you create this, and then you're able to actually put it into the world. And you think of this as analogous to the process of the artist with the audience, regardless of what the medium is actually supposed to be. The point is not necessarily what is the relationship of the artist with her or his work, but rather, what is the relationship of the artist with her or his audience? And whether that is in the walls of the Serpentine, or at BAFTA, or, or wherever, this is the, the very fundamental nature of everything it is that we're creating. And so right now, what we're going to do, I mean, you can look at a video and you say, OK, great, you know, that's, that's fine. Um, but you know, maybe that's actually all faked and all useless. So, so what, is it, what is it really? So what we've got here, and, and this is all incredibly risky, and I apologize in advance if it sucks, but uh, um, what we have here is what I've been led to believe is the only Meta 2 in Europe at the moment. And uh, so we are going to show you. I'm going to wear it, which, uh, you know, that's always fun. God, that clicks like crazy, doesn't it? All right. Now let's see what we have. <laughs> so by the way, it's, it's important to note that we've tried this twice. The, the last was uh, two hours ago. Ah, OK. So well, we had a part of a person. So while we're waiting for this to exist, the, the point of everything that we're doing is we're building it on Unity. So uh, Unity or Unreal, where is she? Stand forward. OK. Thanks. There we go. Are we good? Yeah. Right? No. Oh, she's over there someplace. back up a little bit. As I said, this is live demos are always the most interesting. Oh, I think she's coming from the left side. All right. Well, you're, you're seeing little bits of it, so we'll, we'll try again. Hold on. Um, try, try standing forward one more time, please. There we go. You need to 
Isn't this much more interesting than, like, you know, you're wondering if you're actually going to see it? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, so anyway, uh, what you're seeing little bits of is there's an artist called St. Vincent, and uh, her wonderful new album actually came out two weeks ago. And uh, St. Vincent is Annie Clark, and we shot uh, about, th what, this way? Nothing. Okay. Well, anyway, so we, we shot three months ago at a, at a studio in France, a piece, yeah, you do that. So it's a, it's a piece that basically, uh, no, 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 you can't, you can't applaud the, the, the stuff that doesn't work. And, and by the way, this is our fault, this isn't Meta's, this isn't, uh, you know, we, we actually, we work with every possible technology that's doing this. So everything that we make will work with Magic Leap, or ODG, or Microsoft, or Apple when they're out, or, or Meta, or, or whoever it is that's doing it. Because for us, the, the headset is not actually the point. The point is being able to afford uh, experiences to artists in ways that they've never been able to, to make happen before. So right now, while Shah's trying to get that together, we could, what we could even do is we could start the Q&A, and, uh, and when it's working, we'll show it to you, and if it doesn't work, we'll show it to you later. But, you know, this is, this is the, we, we knew that there was a possibility of this happening, so I, I kind of apologize, but I kind of don't, because I made the decision to, to take a shot at it anyway. Um, and uh, let me put it this way. Whenever you see any of our work at the Serpentine, it will be uh, absolutely stable, so we won't be in there until, you know, we're certain of it. Anyway. Shaw, I'll start it. When it's working, we'll show it to you. All right. Great. Thank you. Is it working? Uh, I'm going to do the calibration. Uh, we're going to do a calibration. Can we do it just there? Yeah, sure. I'm not showing it? All right. Yeah. Maybe this is why it's the only one in Europe. I don't know. Isn't this brilliant? We do this like, all, this is exactly what it looks like at our studio in Pittsburgh. Like just a bunch of people doing this all the time. All right. Take a look. There she is. So in this piece, and she should probably raise a little bit, Annie Clark is playing opposite herself. She is both innocence and fear. And this is something that we started writing right after I left Magic Leap in August. And it's the idea that, okay, if you've got an artist, and at this time it was, it was very much motivated by the political situation in the United, St in, in the United States as well as elsewhere, but you say, all right, um, what is it that we can do with mixed reality that you can't actually do with anything else? And in this, it's, it's Annie going through a dialogue with herself, and it's, it's a terrifically involved piece. We're having to invent the tools to invent the post-production to finish it. Uh, but, you know, uh, so it's quirky as hell, but generally you'll get there eventually. 